Hello everyone, today I would like to show you how to display custom characters on an LCD screen. So in one of my previous tutorials I talked about how the to see LCD can be interfaced with Arduino. So these LCDs are based on the Itachi HD44780 controller. And this kind of controller has two types of memory. There is what they call the CG ROM, which is the character generator ROM. This kind of memory is non-volatile and therefore it cannot be modified. That is where those ASCII character fonts are stored and they are the ones which are used for displaying normal messages. Then there is also the CG RAM which is used for storing user defined characters so it is volatile and can be modified. However, the problem with this kind of memory is it is also limited to only 64 bytes. So for the kind of display we are having here, you only have to use a maximum of 8 user defined characters that can be stored in this kind of memory. So if you look closely at this kind of LCD, you will be able to see some little rectangles and these rectangles are the ones where you can be able to write those characters. In those rectangles there are some kind of 5x8 pixel grids. So each character is defined in 5x8 pixel matrix. Here you can see this is the LCD display and you see those small rectangles inside here. If you expand the rectangles, each of those rectangles has other small rectangles and those rectangles, each of them is representing an individual pixel. So the kind of LCD I'm using is having a 5 by 8 pixels for each character. To be able to display user-defined functions or user-defined characters on the screen, we need to know the architecture of this screen. So to simplify our work, we are going to be using some simple tool. I call it the LCD Custom Character Generator. So this is our LCD Custom Character Generator tool. I'll put a link in the description below so that you can be able to access it. So in other words, this tool will be able to show you each of the individual 5x8 pixel matrix represent a given character that you want. Then what makes it even better is that it also gives you a sample sketch of the kind of code that you are going to be using to display the code on the LCD. However, in this case, this one is using the liquidcrystal.h library and the corresponding declarations for the pins if you are using the normal LCD display. But in my case, I'm using the I2C display, so I'll be able to change that in my own code. However, for now, before you can be able to use the custom characters, we need to first create them here on this generator. So what this generator does, it creates a simple array of 8 bytes. For example, here you see we have this from 0 to 7. So these are the bytes we are going to create. Each of these bytes is representing the spaces in this matrix, in this matrix here. So where you see 0 represents that the given pixel is off. So for example, if I press here, it turns to 1, meaning that pixel is now on. If I press there, you see another one here, as the pixel is on. So in other words, if you are creating custom characters inside here, you discover that each of the pixels goes on changing here. So the 0 represents off, 1 represents on. After creating that array of 8 bytes, then you can be able to transfer this code sketch and then use it in our own code. Now let me create a simple custom character here. So I've created one custom character here. This is a sound symbol. If I want to use this or to display this kind of character on my LCD screen, I'm going to just copy this code here. So you just copy the whole of this code and paste it in your Arduino IDE. I uh, pasted it here, but of course I will change the leading libraries because remember I'm using the I2C LCD. You have to include the wire.h library for I2C communication and then the liquid crystal I2C.h. Okay, then here I declare the I2C pins I shown here. And this is my custom character. You can change this one from custom character. I can call it the I call it sound. Okay. These are the eight bytes that are making up the sound character. Then here I can initialize my LCD. Then I create the new character using this function create char. So this first zero is representing the position of the character in the character array. In this case I only have one character, therefore it is just going to be having zero. So I've changed my character before to sound, so I need to change it here. Sound, after the setup, then I have to print the character. I want to print the character on the screen. So I'll just set my cursor at 01 
and then use the write function to be able to display the character on the LCD. So after here you compile and upload and you can be able to see your character on the screen. Okay, let me try another character here. So just clear here. So what you do, you just simply copy here, paste it inside here. Okay, call it maybe Bell, and even here. If you want, you can change the position of where you want the character to be. Maybe I put it on position maybe 6. Then you upload and see how that character looks on the screen. So that's how you do that. It's rather simple. You just have to use this code generator to generate as many characters as you want. But remember, the CG RAM can only store a maximum of 8 characters. So now I'll look at a complete program which is going to be showing different kind of characters on the screen. So as you see here we have the characters. Here we have the heart, the bell, the alien, the chick, speaker, sound, skull, lock. So these are eight characters. Now as I'm using all the character spaces that I'm supposed to be having on this LCD. Remember we've said it has to have a maximum of eight characters because of the limited RAM. Then you can come here and use the create char function so that you can be able to create the new characters and remember you have eight characters so you are going to be using from zero to seven if you want to print the characters remember you are going to be using the right function so what you do just use the right function and the position of the character in the array so this is the simple code i'll just upload it and see what it looks like on the lcd display so all the characters now appear on the lcd as has been programmed here hope you've learned something new and i've been able to clarify on a few aspects about creating the custom characters thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like my videos and watch my other videos